just to say you're fighting for the world heavyweight title. And what do you think would happen if Tyson Fury meets up with Dylan White? Me and, me and Dylan White are different fighters. I was yeah. offered the same thing Dylan White was offered to Bob Holyfield. I said I'll take it. You know why? I'll take it because once I beat Holyfield, I can get everything. And if, it's, if, it, if it costs me to get there, as long as I get there. Mm. There you go. That is the message for Dylan White. Yeah, but I mean, how many times are you going to be able to box for the heavyweight championship of the world? <clears throat> facts. 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 Those are the words, once again, of Lennox Lewis. Big up, England. Big up. As Lennox explains, like, uh, that he disagrees with Dillian White. Dillian White should have took the money that was offered for him, to him, in order to fight uh, Tyson Fury, the Gypsy King, um, knowing the history between Dillian White and the WBC and the desire uh, and the struggle, the trials, the tribulations to get to the opportunity to just fight for the championship title. Okay. Being an interim champion himself, um, he's been in this Two times he's had struggles where he's lost it, you know, due to uh, corruption and due to actually losing, getting knocked out. So, you know, <clears throat> Lennox Lewis was like, hey, you know, what other what other time will he have this opportunity to fight? You know, the same amount of money I took from Holyfield. OK. Um, they offered him so. You know, that's what I want to counterpunch with that based on what he said. Um, and let's counterpunch, okay? Evander Holyfield offered him $10 million, okay? So let me get the reference for you guys real quick. Um, Being from the United Kingdom, the real deal Holyfield being from Atlanta, Georgia. The purse was $20 million for Holyfield, and the purse was $10 million for Lennox Lewis. Lennox Lewis took that opportunity, and he made it count, okay? And this is what I want to explain to everybody. First of all, uh, they never offered Lennox, uh, Lennox Lewis $5.5 million, okay? They didn't offer him that, okay? So I don't. I think he needs to get his facts straight. Right. Because I think if Dillian White would have would have been offered ten million dollars and he turned it down, um, I would have been against Dillian White for doing that. Why? Because I was for Lennox Lewis doing that for the sacrifice. I would have been for Deontay Wilder getting that twelve point five for the sacrifice, for the opportunity. OK, so that's one thing people need to understand. And I think at the end of the day, I think at the end of the day. Uh, people need to realize what they have in their grasp. That's what Lennox, the point what he's saying is right. But due to his own um, examples, it's piss poor because he got twice as much. They offered him 5.5. They offered him 10 million. He took it because he knew the value of it. But see, he would go against uh, Wilder. Well, Wilder needs a split, but I understand Wilder is a cha was a champion. He was the WBC champion. He wasn't the WBC interim champion. That is the difference. So you got to weigh that in there. But however, you look at someone like Wilder at the time, he wasn't as popular as Dillian White is now. He wasn't. You know what I mean? So Dillian White has built and had his has made his own claim to fame, has his own fan base, makes his own money. Okay, made millions at the time. Well, Deontay Wilder didn't make multi-millions at the time. Okay, that was the first big show that he ever done. Okay, the big fight that he ever done. Okay, the 12.5, he got $900,000 for his highest purse up until that time. And he turned down 12.5 million. That's the difference. Okay, that's the difference. Versus Dillian White turning down 5.5 and offering at least five figures, which would be 10 million. See, it would be different if Dillian White was offered $10 million and he turned it down. And Lennox said, hey, man, I, offer, I was the one that accepted $10 million, so you're wrong. That would have made sense because at least he it would have been the same amount. 
So it's almost to me, he's trying to uh, <clears throat> exaggerate the amount that Dillian White was received by Bob Arum, which who in the hell, Bob Arum has problems giving his own fighters multi-million dollars, man. Think about it. Bob Arum has had problems with giving Terrence Crawford the money that he signed on the contract, and it was a contract agreement. He had problems with that. So you think he wants to give somebody more than what he gives his own fighters? Counterpunch. You see what I'm saying? So it when what Lennox is saying, it's true because I always agreed with him when you, when you when it comes to sacrifice and you want to be great, if you want to sit around and bitch and piss and moan about money instead of actually fighting, that's cool. But you can't have it uh, both. You have to have it both ways. OK, you have to have it both ways and you have to look at it where both fighters and you have to have them on the equal pl equal playing field. See, with Lennox Lewis, what he's doing and with Dillian White. Yes, he's a Brit. Yes, they have a lot of similarities together. They do. They have a lot of similarities. But the thing about Lennox Lewis is Lennox Lewis was that champion. OK, Lennox Lewis did take that money, but it was twice as much. And then especially at that time, this is like 98, 99, right? 98, 99. I believe it was like 98 though, or 97 when he took that money. What, what date was it? Uh, yeah, 99. So that was 99. $10 million in 99 is not $10 million a day. So $10 million in 99 was probably $15 million a day. Okay, so... That's the, the, the another big thing you need to look at. So he got a lot more than what they offered Dillian White at 5.5 right now, okay? In this days and time. And you're just offering him 5.5, the minimum of what the champion should get because you have to remember, Dillian White is a champion too, okay? A fucking vice president is still a president, isn't he? Come on, people. He's still a president, Right? He's a president in recess if that well something happens to the president. So he's something. He's more than just a number one. And oh, by the way, he stayed number one forever. Right? And that was another injustice for him. So I think Lennox Lewis should understand also the struggles that uh he went through, which I think he understands because Lennox Lewis went through his own struggles. So I'm not saying that he doesn't. Okay, I don't want to give people that idea that Lennox Lewis doesn't have anything or don't know anything about Dillian White. But what I can tell you this is if they offered Dillian White $10 million like they offered uh, Lennox Lewis, he should have took it. Okay. But don't say something that really didn't happen, Lennox. That's the my only counterpunch to Lennox Lewis. But I do agree. It's all for the sacrifice and it's all for the legacy. So I agree with Lennox Lewis. But the dollar amount was way off when you talked about he was offered the same thing as you. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Lennox Lewis uh, disagreeing with Dillian White and wanted Dillian White to take the money in order to fight Tyson the Gypsy King Fury. Now, I will leave you with this. And in the defense of Lennox Lewis, okay? Lennox Lewis, um, he knows what it's about. Dillian White's supposed to know what it's about. See, at some point, you have to say, fuck it. At some point, you have to say, you know what? Give me the damn money because I believe I can be the, the heavyweight champion of the world. You know what I mean? Because it, it comes between what you believe in versus what you know that's right. And I think one should oversee the other one. Like, look, yes, I have to take a loss in order to become great later. But anyway, that's what I want to share with you guys. Please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunched. Peace.